Oh my gosh, yes! What is going on guys? And welcome back to another episode of the US of Angling, where I travel around the US full time with my wife, JC, and I fish everywhere I go. Today, we are in central Oregon, in a section of river that is fly fishing only. There are some absolute hogs in this river. Not to mention how gorgeous it is. I mean, crystal clear water. Honestly, the goal is just to put a couple rainbow trout in my new net. I have yet to put anything in this net yet. But, like I said, there's potential to catch a monster. Let's go catch something. All right, guys. So the name of the game today is going to be that... I don't know, from about these little falls right here, about a quarter mile up river is outstanding fishing. You can see trout. Most of the trout are gonna be hidden up under these logs. Once you get up, I don't know if you guys can see that bridge there. On the other side of that bridge, there's a ton of fallen trees and those trout sit right under the trees and face upwards. or upstream waiting for bugs and whatever they're eating to flow down. I'm sure there's quite a few fish, or maybe not quite a few, a couple fish right up there under those bushes. So I'm gonna start, like I said, I'm new to fly fishing. So I've got this big indicator fly with a little split shot. And then I'm gonna start with just this tiny, tiny little fly. I don't even know if you, yeah, you guys should be able to see that. I stopped at a local fly shop. They got me set up with, hopefully, something that'll catch a couple fish. This section right here is pretty shallow. As I get further up, it will get deeper. That's kind of why I've got my fly set so deep. There we go. That was a good cast up in there. Come on. Let there be a hungry trout. As someone new to oh as someone new to fly fishing, you'd think the casting would be the hard part. And honestly, it's not. <laughs> Getting a fly out there isn't even that hard. It's everything else. Keeping your line tight, getting good hook sets. Finding places to cast can be a little bit difficult. As you can tell, I just got snagged up. Oh, nothing in that little section wants to play. All right, I've come up river a little ways. There's quite a few people down there. Most of them have waders on walking around in the water. So I'm gonna let them do their thing. And I'm just coming up river a little ways, hopefully to some places that are just a little bit less pressured. Hopefully. Let's see. We can't just tuck one in there and get bit. I don't know about this weight. That's the only thing. I don't know about it. So I'm gonna use the weight for a minute. If I don't get bit, I'll be taking that weight off. Oh 
Isn't this area just gorgeous though? I mean, look at the water could not be cri more crystal clear. I feel like it could be a hundred feet deep and you'd still see the bottom. Looks to be a bunch of downed stuff up here. Hopefully we can find a hungry trout. Doesn't look like there's anyone up here either. That's, that's good. Come on. There is, there has to be trout hiding up there. Has to be. And that just went down beautifully. that go down gorgeous went right down exactly where you'd want it to from what I can tell at least right next to that log this area cleared out big time which could be bad, could be good. I see some trout, so that's a giant positive. I also see an indicator down there. Okay. Let's see if we can't trick one of these little boogers. There are trout. I see them in here. Actually, quite a few of them. Come on. Okay, see, one just hit the top of the water over there. That's what I've been looking for and waiting for. That's what we have been waiting for. To find a spot that they're actually feeding. Okay, so he doesn't like that. He didn't like that at all. There's some trout up here. As a little update, I went all the way up river and I just could not find areas to fish that I could fish very well, that I could see fish, that I saw active fish. It just wasn't great up there. So we're gonna see if we can't trick one. Into hitting this little salmon egg. through there perfectly. I'm going to put on something smaller. Something more natural. Okay. I'm going to put the split shot back on. Try and get this thing down a little bit. Oh my gosh, I got one. You gotta be kidding me. Yes. No way. Look at the colors on this one. Oh my gosh. No way. <laughs> I just let that go way up under that log. Oh my gosh. All right. Check that out. Not a big one at all, but freaking gorgeous. I've never caught one that colorful. That is so red. Amazing. <laughs> that was so colorful.
I catch another one like oh my gosh that's a monster and of course I get snagged on my next cast <laughs> that's how this freaking goes all right guys well small update it's been about an hour since I've caught that one fish I was chatting with the guy for like the last hour so I didn't do much recording but I also didn't do much catching so it worked out that way but we're getting serious again here let's see if I can't pluck something out of here the amount of trout in this stream is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Throw in the homemade pistol peat. Just a little spinner on here with a tiny little bead and then the tiniest little fly that I caught that first trout on. And by first trout, I mean only trout. Let's see if we can't yank one out of here. Fish are starting to hit the top of the water a lot more than they were earlier though. So I'm gonna come up here where they're jumping because I didn't see any fish up there earlier. They're hitting right around this log. Oh yeah, I see one. I see one. Got him, all right. Sweet, finally. Finally, finally, yes. Come here, trout. This is a nice one too. All right. I saw him come up and hit the water like five times and I finally got him. <laughs> Sweet. This one's bigger than the first one. That's for sure. All right. Let's check him out. Let's see if I can hold him without dropping him. I'm gonna let you go in two seconds, bud. Another good looking trout. That is awesome. Absolutely amazing. All right. All right. See you later, bud. Thanks for finally hitting. Whew. All right, well, I just put this homemade pistol peat on, so maybe this will start enticing them. They're starting at the top of the water. This acts like a bug. Sweet. All right. I know that there's a trout in here. The pistol peat is going to get it done right here. Come on. Hopefully I don't lose it because I've got light line and if he does hit, I'm not gonna have much room to fight him. Come on. Oh my gosh, yes! <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> that was sick. Oh, was that sick. Oh, get up here, bud. Get up here, bud. Yes. <laughs> that was freaking sick. Oh my goodness. That was freaking awesome. Oh. 
this little pistol Pete, he's chunky too. Let's see if I can't. Oh my gosh. That was amazing. Let's see if I can't hold him for a second. Come here, bud. Yeah, I know you're lively. I'm gonna drop him, but. Whoa. <laughs> there he went. I tried to hold him up, but it didn't work very well. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up this video. A three fish day for a brand new fly fisherman, me. I'm sure you guys could tell. All I've gotta say is thank God for video editing because outside of those three fish, it was more of a blooper kind of day, but. I got a couple more trout videos coming your way and then I'm headed back home to Iowa where I'm gonna be hammering some crappies, some walleyes, some flatheads, channel cat, all my favorite fish. Don't get me wrong, I love fishing for trout, but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't missing jigging up some walleyes and crappies. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss what I'm actually good at. Thanks again, guys. See you next time.